The first time I met Oliver Jones was when his father died, when he was eight years old. I was a friend of his father. I promised to keep an eye on his son. When I took his soul, when my friend died, he knew my secret. I was a grim reaper and have always been one. I first met Oliver at his father's funeral. You'll be all right, boy. Your father is in a better place. You will see him again, I told him. He asked me who I was. I told him I was a friend of his father. I watched him grow up at a distance. When he turned 25, I met him at his aunt's funeral. He remembered me. He asked if I were my son, as I hadn't changed. I could have lied, but I didn't. I said aging worked different with my family. We don't age beyond 25 years old. He thought I was joking. I wasn't. I went to his uncle's funeral and spoke to him again 30 years later. He expected to see me when his uncle died, he said. I smiled as I met him in my human form, as always. I have always been watching you, protecting you and always will, even if you don't notice me, I told him. Why do you hide until someone dies, he asked me. I told him I had my reasons. What they were, I couldn't tell him. I couldn't be seen not aging in that time when my people, the magicians, were unknown. But I could appear infrequently when I was most needed, such as time when someone died. I spoke to him again at his mother's funeral 20 years later. Hello again, my friend, Oliver said to me when he saw me. His daughter asked him who I was. He told her I was a very old friend. She thought he was lying as I looked younger than her. It was always awkward looking young. I left him till death came around again. When the time for him came, as it comes to all, I came early to collect him. He was at the hospital I was stationed as coroner. I went to visit him where he lay in a hospital bed dying. He was alone in a room by himself that night. He knew my purpose when I found him. He was smiling. Why are you smiling? I asked him. Death smiles at us all. All we can do is smile back, he said to me. I wondered if he knew who I was. As my co-workers at the hospital called me Dr. Death, as I was a coroner, then it struck me he saw me as death. I had always been seen when someone died, he'd guessed who I was. We spoke for a while before he died, and I took his soul in for processing. I being the judge of the dead, I sent him to the Elysian fields to be with his lost loved ones. I went to his grave with my son, who was also afflicted with the family curse of eternal youth, another reaper. He knew of him too. The cemetery was very peaceful that day, I said. Death must be so beautiful, to lie in the soft brown earth, with the grasses waving above one's head and listen to silence, to have no yesterday and no tomorrow, to forget time, to forget life, to be at peace.